is important. Oh, almost caught with the uh, Diashibarai from uh, Japanese girl Matsumoto. And now she's trying, trying to groundwork. She's turned her. She just needs to get the leg free for the Osekomi. And the remaining girl is hanging on to that trying. very tightly. Trying to get that touch to shield going. It's, that's locked in pretty good. Uh, yeah, but she's got no head control. She didn't have the upper body, but she's going. recovered it well. Yoko Shiho. And it's really uh, unusual to see someone get control that quickly because she was too high up, really. Yeah, I thought that she'd lost it. And she's keeping that hand and that foot in there. She's got to extend that hand occasionally when the foot comes around, but it looks like a very solid Yoko Shiho. She's got the left shoulder trapped up there. That's right. It's almost like a Kashiwazaki style, I think, the way she's got the shoulder trapped there. Yeah. yeah. That's a great win for Matsumoto. She books her place in the final. And she's going to have to wait a little while now to see whether it's going to be Montero from Portugal or Phil Moser from Austria. That match is still going on. There's 3.35 remaining still there. Once again, we see the strong Osai Komi coming from the Japanese women, able to finish off. And uh, we saw mostly, I think, Kami Shiho, and we saw some Tate Shiho, and now we saw Yoko Shiho. One slip on the ground. That was all it took. But you're right, when she was trying mm. to extract that leg, she looked kind of tall. I was talking about. She looked really high, not very well balanced. It's great the way she pulled her back in there from on the edge. She had that but, one little chance, perhaps, to roll out once that leg got extracted. But what amazed me was how she managed to get control from being so high up yeah. on her opponent. Normally, you can't get control again because they turn. Right, right. Into their face before you have chance to get... Con and she managed to do that so quickly. I think the Romanian might have had a second there where she was high and the foot came out and she could have rolled out. Exactly. But she missed that opportunity and she paid for it dearly. Yeah. Well, we've joined this contest now with about three minutes to go. Selma Montero and Sabrina Filtz-Murza. No score yet in this second semi-final. Uh, Montero, we know... Well, we know a lot about both of these girls. They've, be, they've both been around for a long time. They're very experienced. Montero is the one with the big successes, uh, the big medals at international level. She was world champion. She's been European champion a couple of times in different weight categories. She, um, she even uh, won it. I think she, uh, she won it at 52 and 57. And world champion at under 52 as well. And uh, she was probably expected to win the Olympics in, in Beijing. And uh, she had a, a setback with uh, the coach of Portugal passing oh. her way, a coach. Antonio Matias. Yeah. Well, she had a great opportunity there for a pickup. She scores Yuko. Rosario, I beg your pardon. I'm, I'm thinking about the old scoreboards. <laughs> <laughs> I called Coca this morning, so I'm you way off. You didn't. I did. Oh, Muppet of the day. Oh, oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> At least the Yuko still exists, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so bad. You get the prize. Showing my age. Oh, I don't believe it. Kayla just looked over at me and smiled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we had the pleasure of Kayla Harrison this morning. Yeah. Uh, on the... Um, I saw that yeah. from where I was sat, yeah. yeah. I saw that. She, she done very well. She was good fun. That was a good girl, yeah. She couldn't take, she couldn't take the nerve-wracking situation when um, Nick Del Popolo came on. He did well today, the American yeah. in the other 73 kilo category. There were two of them in there, Nick Del Popolo and uh, Michael Eldred. I the, think the US team hasn't done bad. Yeah. And they got some good players. I mean, just imagine if Ronda Rousey had stuck around, you know, yeah. she's... Yeah. Yeah gone into the mixed martial arts now so um they don't have her anymore but what a shame i mean what a big talent she was yeah They're a real threat uh, i'm just going to say no there. comment to that of the american city between the two brits <laughs> <laughs> but uh i think nick that tomorrow nagi that he had this morning was just fantastic yeah that was one of the throws of the day it's too bad he couldn't carry that momentum in the next match but uh, he had a very tough opponent it's going to be really hard for Phil Moser to get back into this match because Montero, as we know, gives nothing away. 
Yeah, she's just grinding, grinding, grinding. We got a, a minute and change left. You very rarely see her get knocked down. Very, very rare you see anybody score well, against by her. By Wazardi at this point. She's so compact, so quick and agile. She's like a cat. Mm. I thought the uh, the new rule changes would have affected her more so than um, Phil's Moser because she used to do a lot of leg grabbing techniques, right? Like a scooping of the leg with the hand and that sort of thing. Lots of it, most of her attacks were below the belt. Um, I don't mean that in a, <laughs> <laughs> a derogatory way. Well done. She do blow. Double, no double entendre there, huh? No. Oh, she leads None there. by Rosari. 38 seconds left. She's in control here. Oh, well, we have a Shido, but she's still up by Wazari. Yeah, that's not going to make any difference at this late stage. She's got to keep her head up. Oh, that's nice. They called on the mat, I think. That was a splendid counter, even if it was outside. She's got to keep her composure going into the final 30. Phil Smalls is so tall, isn't she, for this yeah. category? I watched her fighting against Gemma Howells, and she was towering over her. And I would. Yeah, I'm bomb! Looking for the Juju Katami, she's got it, the arm's out. Uh, <laughs> Good move from Montero. Ten seconds left. You know, she had the thumb up, the elbow was in the position. I don't know whether she couldn't thrust the hips in or what the, the issue I think was. She, I think she had her hip on the wrong part of the arm. She was on the forearm. She needed to get higher up the arm or on the elbow. Right, right. She really couldn't get the leverage she needed. No. Or if she throws in a, a someone egg attack just to keep things going. But um she definitely on form <coughs> into the final. Roma <coughs> Montero and uh, Phil Smerza will have to go down and fight uh, for a bronze medal. Some nice action to kick off the afternoon session. Absolutely, we've seen some good matches already. Now, um, we've got. Uh, the next set of matches uh, coming up. We're going to start with the um, repechage match.